Hello, and welcome to this presentation by the Foundation for the Education and Research in Neurological Emergencies. This educational lecture is titled Managing Emergency Department Headache Patients, Life-Threatening Headaches, and COVID-19 Implications. My name is Edward Sloan. I'm currently Medical Director of the Physician Assistant Studies Program at Dominican University, and I have been an attending physician in emergency medicine at Carl Foundation Hospital. I am Professor Emeritus in the Department of Emergency Medicine at the University of Illinois at Chicago. The content for this lecture comes in large part from the monograph titled Evaluation and Management of Life-Threatening Headaches in the Emergency Department by Dr. Zoda et al. It was published in Emergency Medicine Practice by EB Medicine, February 2019. Please refer to the complete video and audio content for this educational lecture, as well as other individual parts of this lecture via links found at fern.org. You may also refer to the initial podcast and the CME option on the EB Medicine website at ebmedicine.net and specifically at the link listed below. Please note the disclaimer listed below. In general, this information is intended to augment and not replace the clinical judgment that guides the management of any individual patient. The next diagnosis to be considered for patients with secondary headache in the emergency department is acute angle closure glaucoma. This disease is more commonly seen in older patients who may have a sudden exposure to bright light, such as leaving a movie th- theater during the day and going into the sunny outside. It will present with unilateral blurry vision, halos with vision, and vision loss. It can often have unilateral headache, especially headaches behind the eye. The eye itself will be painful and have some redness. And in general, acute angle closure glaucoma includes elevated intraocular pressures greater than 30 millimeters of mercury, knowing that normal intraocular pressure is somewhere in the range of 10 to 20 millimeters of mercury. How does this happen? Normally, the aqueous humor fluid flows from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber, then in our, into our bloodstream. And this fluid must pass between the iris and the lens, then through the pupil opening. And the fluid can get blocked, known as pupil block, And in acute angle closure glaucoma, the iris is so close to the trabecular network that when pupil block increases, it pushes the iris against the meshwork, blocking outflow of this aqueous humor. How do we treat these patients? Treatment is most often medical. You can use Timolol beta blocker, 0.5%, Q1 hour times two. Pilocarpine, a meiotic, 1 to 2%, three times over 30 minutes. Aperclonidine, an alpha 2 agonist, 0.5%, Q1 hours times 2. And refer immediately to ophthalmology. Many times they can be lasered in the office as needed to provide an opening and drainage for this aqueous humor. When considering the diagnosis and treatment of emergency department headache patients, especially in the setting of this current COVID-19 pandemic, the following can be concluded. Emergency department headache patients who present with potential life threats can be identified. In order to do so, a systematic evaluation is critical and the electronic medical record can help with this process. Most importantly, subarachnoid hemorrhage can be excluded in patients who present with sudden severe headache given our current diagnostic capabilities. Also to be noted, head and neck infection, CNS infection, and CNS thrombosis must be considered if subarachnoid hemorrhage is excluded as the likely etiology for patients with potentially life-threatening headaches in the emergency department. During the time of this current COVID-19 pandemic, It is possible that common primary etiologies of headache, such as muscle tension headache, migraine, or even headache related to dehydration, can commonly be seen in emergency department patients. However, when considering patients with potentially life-threatening headache in the emergency department, at this time it is worthwhile to always consider 
COVID-19 as a potential etiology of these life-threatening headaches. During the time of this COVID-19 pandemic, besides specifically testing for the COVID-19 virus, there's no need to specifically alter our approach to diagnosing and treating patients in the emergency department with life-threatening headaches. If you have any specific questions related to this educational content, please send an email to fern.org at gmail.com. We encourage you also to go to the fern.org website for more content related to this educational program, as well as other content related to the care of patients who present to the emergency department with life-threatening illness and injury related to neurological emergencies. Thank you.